happy to see all of you here. Actually, because you are going to complete the journey, or you're going to jump off the bandwagon. Which direction? You. Because your name is Zebra. 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 Ah, hiding. What's your name? Well, are you jumping or staying? Very good. <laughs> what I'm trying to say, since you all young, but I'm the youngest amongst you, can you challenge me? Absolutely not. Very good. <laughs> and uh, we did not have the luxury that you have. Never we had it. Don't be abusing it and don't be deceived by it. We talk about terminology, which is sometimes fake. Okay? Talk about the people which make us champion. Who brought you here, Deborah? Okay, she does not know, she said. <laughs> Who brought you here? Who brought you here? Um, the course to the course. Yeah, to, to Who brought you here? The Australia. <laughs> After five days of training, you can't fail. Who brought you here? Right hold. We are here because of them. Don't ever in your life think or make your eye to blink about them. They are the people who are paying our salaries, paying our bills, is that right? And receiving us with a smile while you are in an air-conditioned area, while you are having our cars, while we are talking about our holidays, while we are talking about mortgage, while we are talking about the fashion that we are going to change our clothes or our shoes. Have you seen my shoes? Al Capone, huh? <laughs> Can I take a selfie? <laughs> and I'll do it, I'll do it, I'll do it. Fall down. <laughs> no, 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 I got it, I got it, I got it. I got it. Deborah, <coughs> don't fall. Al Capone. I need to have the hat. <laughs> not Toby, not Toby, not Toby. Your Toby is worst of time. <laughs> so remember all the time. No, 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 no. Al Capone hat. Okay, bring it. <laughs> it will work. All right. Now I am, what's your name? I'm Samir. Peaky. <coughs> yeah. Peaky blinder. <laughs> okay. We are in Birmingham. So. I'm not just a pretty face. <laughs> I see that. I see that. Can you do that? <laughs> do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. My, my. <laughs> I took it. Why you are giggling? <laughs> Don't giggle, I'll giggle. Very good, very good. What about safeguarding? I'm asking you to get it. Anyway. So don't ever, I'll tell you something. Who is here from the good old days? Maybe Abdul Manan. Maybe, no, good old days means the 80s. Oh, no, no. They were not born yet. <laughs> we never had breakfast with our families in Ramadan for a month or for five weeks. Our wives never complained. Our children never complain. Not only myself, a lot of people in UK, Fradi, in America, Anwar and Jangir, in Germany, Tariq Afifi, and others. Even in, in uh, Italy, in Italy or Ireland? Ireland. Ireland. Even Italy, who had the vision to go there. While we could not be able to speak proper English, as myself, we were thinking to go to where the decision is made. 
That's why you fought to register Islamic relief and you at UN in 1993 before most of you were born. You are standing on the legacy of the one individual who gave the pound and the penny and the half a penny. The Somali, the Yemeni, Pakistani, the Afro-American made us to stay here. If we don't remember this, out. We don't need you at all, no matter what degree you have, no matter what course you have, no matter what you have of intelligence. It is because of them. You know why? Because I cannot and you cannot stand up to be as patient as they are. They suffer, but they smile. They become tired, but they help. They are homeless, but they shelter people in their hearts. Can you do that? No, you can't. Because we became very materialistic, looking after figures, looking after numbers, looking after programs, but don't look up the value of man and woman. A woman who feel unsafe in a tent, because somebody may look at them through the tent when they are sleeping. Did you feel that? A young girl could be scared to go outside the tent because she could be raped. Do you feel that? No. This is it. The Afghani woman that Adnan was telling me about her and she was selling her children two to sell to feed the other four. True and fact of life. We talk about them as images. We talk about them as fair story to raise fund. But we don't talk about them to raise our hearts, our feeling. And this woman, if she meets us anywhere, she will smile at us. And the children will look at you as the one who bringing hope and fulfilling the dreams. You know what their dreams? When I was in Afghanistan or Pakistan, in the good old days, a football to play. Or a pair of shoes. Or a school to go to. Or a school bag. How much we waste of resources we have. Look at what we leave on our dishes. Look about we throw our clothes and our food. Let's go the time of waste when we stay for hours and hours and hours playing games on this. And we spend, this could cost 1,000 pounds, 500 pounds, 2,000 pounds, our whole days. This is paid to us by them. By the girl who was raped and there is fund. Or by the woman who became widow and there is fund. Or by all. The fundraising is not just something to count money. It's something to count how much value that I brought to the life of others. This fundraising. Fundraising is from multi-day. I'm just complimenting what Brother Tayyip is saying and what Professor Sharik was saying before. Because I had the pleasure to be with them. They were mentoring me because I'm mentored. <laughs> Where do you come from? Orlando, Florida. No, no, not, not you, him. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you finished it. <laughs> You're done now. Okay. Uh, black. I'm from Whitebird. Blueberry. Alibur. Mahmoud. <laughs> so the story which you need to leave behind your fingerprints on the hearts of the people who dream to see you again on the people when they look at you to bring happiness to them no matter what money you have for them 
It is the welcome. The welcome is the warm heart that you are having. The welcome is the belief that you have in your heart, whether you are Muslim or Christian. If your religion is not translated in action, you are not a believer in your religion. Your religion and your belief is a waste of time. We are very proud to be a Muslim. I am, sir. I know this because this discussion happened in the 90s when they wanted to change the name of Islam at least. We said no. Everybody is to learn how to work with professional Islamic organizations. Why don't you want to change the name of Christian aid? Okay? Or others. And we still here after 40 years. Be very proud of your religion, whether you are Christian, or you are Muslim, or you are having any religion. It's a part of your life, and it's the life of your life, or the living life of our lives. Our life has to live. Let our life to live and kick. If it lives and kicks, it will build other lives around it. This is your mission. Our mission is to keep leaving legacies behind. Legacies is the number of people that who make dua for you. <coughs> number of people who stand behind you to make you stand. Islamic people are seeing a lot of attacks, backstabbing, not only from individuals, but from governments. But we're still here. You <coughs> are Still here, no matter what governments have done, try to bring down Islamic gift. And you have seen it in the 2017, 2019, and 2021, and what has been happening on the social media. Things have been exaggerated. But because of the values of our work, because of our work, we still is standing strong and will be standing. Inshallah forever. Inshallah. If work for others, if we live for others, if you live for others, you live forever. If you live for others, you live forever. Forever. If you live for other for others, you live forever. So coming back to the dimension of humanitarian work. Brother Tayyip and Professor uh, Sharik were struggling with us for the last five days to get us the fundraising sorted out. But besides the fundraising and the program, what we need to do to understand the dimensions. Anybody of you talk about the culture of the people? The culture of the organization, the philosophy of thinking of the people, the values, the moralities, and the history, and the research? No. Because we only believe in what? In the dollar, yen, real, dirham, pound. Wrong. Absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong. We have to complete and complement what our mission is. Our mission is to build lives. To build lives. To build lives. To sustain life. And make the lives of other people sustainable. Other thing is what we need to do as an organization, we have to create our own terminology. You have to create your own terminology. They are not better than you. They are equal to you. You have to start. Make as many mistakes as you want. And at the end, you will succeed. Inshallah. Your terminology to drive other terminology. Any one of us, you know what I'm talking about? Just I'm, I'm trying to compliment what Brother Taib was struggling to bring to you on the table. His menu is 
<laughs> Very diverse. Mm -hmm. uh, Asian, Arab, what else? Afro Caribbean, America Latino, Latin America. Latin America. What else? Um, European. European. <laughs> <laughs> Are you really? No. <laughs> so, but he got a very very long menu. But to be very honest, you have to tell me your terminology, your definition. We want definitions. You know, sometimes you say, I have to do this because this is what the donor wants. Is that right? Or to call it donor's culture. Is that right, Deborah? Debbie? Yeah. Yeah. You know, a donation, when it comes to us from certain organizations, it's coded by culture. Philosophy is entrenched inside it. And belief of the donor is that its direction. If you want to make your philosophy, if you want to make your culture, if you want to make your ideas to be followed, you have to start talking about it. Any donation we receive is quoted and we call it donor culture donor culture in certain terms that we don't understand and we don't believe in it. But we have to take the money and say, yes, sir. Try to say no once and you'll be able to succeed later on. You might suffer, but you will succeed. You might lose something, but you will succeed. You know what success in what? In keeping your dignity. And everybody will look at you. She is a credible woman. She's a woman with integrity. And we want her. And we want to employ her. And we want to listen. To her. Because you once said no. Once said no. If we learn to say no and tell other people what we want, they will listen to us. Because they were in our shoes, maybe 50, 60, 70 years ago. The one who managed to make, to say no, is the one who changed the course of action of others. I don't want to talk you too much of your time, but I'm very happy. I'm very thrilled. What else? Ecstatic. Ecstatic, what the hell? Take, take me higher. Elated. Yeah, elated. Elated. Above. Over the moon. Because I'm already over the moon. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm wearing this one. <laughs> it's the moon shoes. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless you. But if you, if you forgot the ones who pay our salaries, we do not deserve such a salary. Yes. Can, you, can you take one picture with me with Brother Abdul Manan giving him his degree from Indiana University with that hat on? Absolutely. <laughs> so, Abdul Manan, what one picture. Uh, we want to. Have, have this you is your degree. Have you, <laughs> have you seen a movie called Indiana Jones? Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> That's have you? This is his main star. So this is Jones. You're all getting an actual young. degree today, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> so I figure we can do one picture. One picture. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> the youngest well, one. I'm, I'm the youngest one. I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. It looks better on you. It looks better on you. Really. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Wow. It's so cute. Alas, uh, Mr. Brother. I'm your photographer, Al Rahman.